I'm going to start out with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. I hope that everyone is well. I really appreciate you all so much. And watch out for scammers in the comment section soliciting you for readings. That's not me. Um, so what we have here is a high priestess in the reverse, really concerned about your fortune and whatever they can get. They're, they want money. Something about someone wants to walk. It's it's your your elevation, your your spiritual energy that's triggering this person. Besides just the karma that's been playing out, it's like trying to get in. Like this person, there's something about your empathy um, and how you're organized that's bothering this person. Um, and also, um, I, I think this 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 person. Um, they want you to feel off, but what's interesting is like whenever they send you energy or however they get, get in your way or whatever it is, you transmute it, you use it. So it's like they end up, um, giving you, it, it works in your favor. This is about crossing your boundaries. I got third eye and joy here. So that joy space is great. So, um, I think keep stay in that energy. There's something underlying going on. It's like reconvening this group, reconvening, uh, dealing with the karma, joining together with the family or whoever else they've got, like they are still feels on their side. A lot of this has to do with appearances and reputation. That's what they're mostly focused on. They want you to feel boxed in so you self-police or feel paranoid um, and mocked as well. Um, it's really bothering you then that that you know you're in this joy energy or that you're you're aligned you're balanced there's some kind of like jealousy around the way you look as well um something about this year in the spring um something about the way you look they feel like there's some sort of one-upmanship they're going it's a karmic feminine Something about an, a message as well, and a loss of inheritance and an ending, and someone not being able to protect themselves is important here. I feel like this person really wants you to like be in your head a lot um, and not be very optimistic. They, they want it to be um, something that you operate up, you operate from that place subconsciously, so that you don't take action and that you just feel paranoid and heartbroken. That's kind of the goal. Um, feeling not optimistic but really it's this person that has this mental chatter they have this mental chatter um they yeah they're for them it's all about like they want you to appear to have gone down like that's their whole thing um which i feel like you know you don't care what any of these people think this is such low vibrational <laughs> to start a ding so it's, this is so low vibrational, um, and it just seems like this, this is like a pause, uh, energetic pause where they've been able to reconvene enough to focus in on you and gets clear on this idea of like permanently, the idea is to like to, to shake you up, like energetically shake you up or make you feel less optimistic or something like that. Um, they want it to feel like a cycle hasn't ended. There's like a group of them. Like you don't take this leap of faith or something like that. They don't want you to, but I feel like they are lacking in abundance. Um, I feel like it's a lot of appearances. I think that they are connected to people that have abundance and they're hanging on for, you know, it, and there are other people that they're connected to that are keeping the status quo because if these truths come out about what they've done, then it could ruin their reputation as well. Um, so I feel like in, as far as like intentions go, I got moon and tower. So this could be feeling very like fed up over the fact that... Um, they want you to be more defend, like defenseless. Something about this like thief energy, being able to like, I feel like it's time money energy. This is someone who 
I don't know. I feel like they don't want you to feel so optimistic <laughs> about your life. They want you to feel more disillusioned, but they're feeling that way. Um, I feel like they're getting into a place though, where they're, um, it's a, there's a, just a lot of manipulation here, you know, it's about, it's the same thing. It's about trying to block this investment, this offer and this contract for some of you. It's about like, if you have someone in your space that you're, you're not sure about, or that like you, you'll have a conversation and then you kind of walk away feeling like drained after, or like they say certain things or they'll ask you certain questions. Or they ask too many questions or whatever it is. There's something about this person you're not sure about. I would definitely, you know, re revisit that. But obviously, you know, I would say like without paranoia, because that is like, it's kind of like the energy of this is that, that you self police or you stop yourself and you get out of this joy and this flow. So especially don't let this message do that to you. <laughs> So definitely, you know, cleanse your space, do whatever you have to do after. I mean, it's good to know what's going on in the background, but ultimately, um, I think it's, it's about your boundaries. So your boundaries, I feel like someone here is like, they're definitely, it's about your self-esteem. There's some sort of something about like your, um, the way you are, it's your balance and your self-esteem and your optimism. This has been going on for a while. It's something about trying to make you feel rejected and not good enough. Um, and make you feel like you're wasting time that you should move on, especially also as it, not just with your goals, but also with love. Um, but you keep dusting this off. It's because your ego isn't the same. <clears throat> as there's um, something about like making you feel ghosted or something like that. But I also feel like there could be something about like, there could be something coming up with like, I don't know, it's just make you feel shocked or something or emotionally off balance. Um, but I feel like there's, they know that, you know, karmic completion is here. And for a lot of you are heading towards union um, or that you'll, you'll go into a union or that it's a union within yourself. However it is you want to look at it, you're very balanced. That bothers them. Um, I feel like they don't understand, understand it. But I do feel like someone is like, I mean, they're definitely beyond where they even were. Um, the last time they've gotten this little pause here, they've re reorganized what their goals are. And, um, so, you know, I mean, you're not, you're, they think you're stupid, I guess, maybe like you're going to rock back on your heels or like, you know, that you're not aware of your environment or your people that you're around or whatever, or that you'll go into some kind of paranoia or something like that you're, you're not going to do that. So it doesn't, that's not going to affect you. Um, and then there's something new coming in here really good in the near future. King of Pentacles, 10 of coins. This person's on the Knight of swords. This person's coming in fast. Um, this is positive energy, um, coming in towards you pretty quickly. I feel like definitely, um, I don't know, as far as like this masculine from your past, I don't know if you want that person back or not. I feel like there's definitely someone here. They see you as this sort of like very perceptive and graceful person. I feel like they underestimated you. They didn't see you as this high priestess energy, queen of swords. They saw you as like this like weaker, weaker kind of something. They saw you differently. Now it's like having to reassess that, but they still want to block your pathway. They definitely, um, as far as this person from your past goes, I feel like they're trying to get that person to think about appearances. Um, I, I know that's that person's Achilles heel, but they definitely want to stop any courtship. Um, sudden wealth, anything that's coming to you from the universe, they're trying to block the flow 
they want to block the flow. Um, it's like your originality, your voice and your uniqueness block the flow. Um, your heart chakra, it block that. It's all about, <laughs> it's like, and that you'll see these signs or something that you'll start to feel like things are not, um, things are not, you know, good. There could be a Scorpio or a Virgo involved here. Um, but in the environment, I see two of wands and queen of pentacles. Again, that is in your, not, you're not in isolation. You're not, you haven't lo lost your, um, concentration. The, the, there's hidden karma playing out. People can see that that's in the environment and that people, I mean, something about your journey being in the upright and it just like whatever the energy work that you're doing on yourself is working. Um, that's really good. And, um, people can see that two of wands. You look courageous. You look like you're moving forward. You've got your plans all together. You seem organized. You seem invigorated, healthy, all that stuff. You're good. I feel like this is like someone's worried. Someone's worried, especially if someone did something, you know, if you have someone who's obsessed with you because of your person from the past and they've been doing all this stuff, um, trying to use money or whatever it is, they're worried about, um, getting caught. Um, they also feel like there's an emperor in the upright that doesn't love them. Um, that's being versatile. Um, they want this person to continue to be versatile. They're worried that when the shit hits the fan, like, you know, because they're trying, this is all defense now, or they're, they're so, uh, this is a different situation than it was before. So they're, they're worried they're just going to disappear, that no one's going to care about them. Um, for this outcome, um, there's definitely some big change coming. I got these two cards, which feel metaphorical to me, midnight and change. So I feel like when the clock strikes 12, six of wands reverse, someone's going to fall from grace. Others are noticing their bullshit lies. It's going to be a big change. There's going to be a king of wands energy around you. This could be a male or a female, but they're a visionary. They're successful. A lot of this has to do with the fact that you're practical. You have patience. There's going to be some sort of negotiation for you. I believe it's this, this contract here or this choice between two. And you're not in this cage, whatever it is, they're trying to get you to like, um, you know, what, how are they're trying to manipulate you into believing about yourself? Um, just not, you know, just not going to happen. Anything else we need to know about these intentions here? New home, new attitude. It's like you're good. You're good. Um, karma. You will reap what you have sown. So you're in a good space. No matter what it is that they're trying to do, you are highly thought of. Okay? I hope that this message helps you. And um, I will see you on the next read. All right. Bye.